Hi guys, welcome back. Here's another quick video for you. Um, this, if you're new to stamping, this is gonna be a perfect card for you because it is super simple. We're using three colors and, I mean, you wouldn't even need, really need to use the three colors, but for me, it just gives that little bit more of an impact and makes it look just a little bit more professional. Um, we have a new catalog coming out on the 1st of June and the, here are three of the new stamp sets. Daisy Lane, a whole series, a whole suite of it, absolutely beautiful. We and there's a new stamp, uh, sorry, a new punch coming out to fit the smaller daisy, and it also matches in with um, a stamp set that's already currently in the main catalogue now. Um, we're going to be using the word friend from this one. Uh, this is Floral Essence, beautiful, absolutely stunning stamp set. This is. This has a punch that goes with it and this leaf will actually fit the leaf punch that we have at the moment as well. These, when these are stamped and embossed, they are, oh my god, they are so divine. And then this one, Delightful Day. Now I wasn't overly keen on this one, but this is one of those stamp set that the more you look at it and the more you use it, the more you think, oh my God, I can't live without this. It's awesome, I love it. And these are just so delicate. And these are the two that we're gonna be using today. And the other one, I'm gonna be using this sentiment. So we're using something from each one. And this says, all days are beautiful that begin with you, which I just think is a really, a really nice sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to be using Lemon and Lime Twist, which is retiring. So if you want it and you, if you're like me, can't live without it, order extra card now and ink refill as well because, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, we're also using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. All right, so first of all, I'm going to start with the dark purple and I'm going to stamp friend in this right and like I say this is really simple anybody can do this it's so easy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here I'm not using the stamparatus because I know a lot of people won't have it so I think I'll come up a little bit further like there and stamp friend in the dark purple so now I'm going to I'm going to put this away so I don't end up using it wrong because I will do and I'm going to go to the lemon and lime twist and I'm using the leaf design for this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up with that and you just press down and lift up and you've got this nice pattern this leaves and dots I think it's so pretty and then I'm going to use the the what's this one called highland heather yeah highland heather i'm going to use this one next with this little butterfly and um what's the flower butterfly and flower <laughs> i think and again i'm just going to keep this into in line with this and stamp there then i'm going to twist my card and i'm going to go back to the green one and this is all we're going to do. We're just going to alternate. Got a hair there. And keeping it as much in a line as you possibly can. If you don't keep it in a line, seriously, don't worry. Oh, see, I knew I'd do that. I knew I'd do that if I left that there. So, this one again. And then I'm just going to stamp this one here then i'm going to come round because i'm going to stamp down this side now make sure i get the green and let me zoom in a little bit for you oh oops sorry <laughs> oh my goodness it's a bit wobbly okay come on camera there we go Right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down here, like that, and then alternate again with the little flower and fairy butterfly thing. And then back to the green. And that one 
And then got this one. Oh now see that's not gonna match my thing, so I'm gonna have to bring this one over and up slightly because I need it to have like corners and if it oh I was totally out of shot wasn't it all I've done is I've brought this over a bit so it's more in in um, in line so we've got more like of a, a an oblong rectangle thing and then I'm gonna do see I wanted the green there rather than next to that so right so if I wipe off the back end of this and stamp that half a green leaf there then I can get this and I can put that there which leaves me with the green come in here and that doesn't fit so I'm going to do the same thing again all I'm doing see if that will focus no it's not going to focus right all I'm doing is you've got two pieces you've got one bit that's more like a leaf image so all I'm doing is I'm wiping off the bit let me show you on the on here um, this is the one I'm using so all I'm doing is I'm wiping off this bit so I'm using just this leaf here and the reason I'm doing that is so I can then put that there then I can ink the whole thing up but wipe the opposite side off now so I'm wiping the leaf off so I've just got like the little like a little heart thing with the dots and that little line and then I can put that so it comes up there and there we have it super super quick and easy simple card now if I'd have thought on I would have been better off if I'd have moved it all down a bit and give it not so much space because then it wouldn't have been as tight in this corner but we live and we learn don't we and we can all make mistakes it's very easy to make mistakes <coughs> but this is another whoop another reason why we just keep practicing isn't it i'm going to go back to the gorgeous grape now oh. and i'm going to take this sentiment off there put this sentiment on here sorry that was my wheelchair switching off and ink it up i'm going to put this i think i'm going to put it higher up because I don't want it to be near the friend or do I want to put it in the center? No, in the center actually. Am I in shot here? And I'm going to stamp it there. And there we have it. Ta-da! Super quick and easy. And like I say, if you are a beginner, I mean, that doesn't even look like a beginner's card, does it? But can you imagine? I mean, see how easy it was. And can you imagine the... People are going to be like, oh my God, you did so well, because you did. <laughs> now, I think what I might do, no, I was going to put um, some uh, glitter, um, oh, Wink of Stella on it, but I'm not going to. But what I'm going to do is if I can find, there they are. I have these these little um, oh goodness gracious my brain's a bit slow today more of the sequins even let's see if I can move you up a little bit there we go and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a blob of glue on my hand and then with my bone my but not bone folder ball tool even I'm going to if I pick a blob up on the end of the ball tool and then 
put it down onto the paper I've got much more control over where the glue goes and of how much glue I'm going to be using. Now I'm going to try and pick up just the green ones. I want that on the other way. And then stick that down there. Whereas if I squirted the glue out, the glue would just go everywhere and it would spurt out from behind this and everything and oh, it just makes a bit of a disaster. And this way you've got complete control. So let's go for another green one. And, and then like this one right now, I haven't put enough glue on it. So all I have to do is get more glue and put it on again. And you can do that as often as you want until you've got the right amount of glue that you need. And then one more, I'm going to put a tiny one there. Let's see if I can find a tiny one now. There we go. And I think I might put a couple up here, or maybe just one. Let's see if I can find a smallish one. No, not enough glue. And, oh, that's blue. Oh, never mind. It's like a bluey green. No, I don't want it. I'll take it off. I want a green one. Green, there we go. There's a green one. I'm going to re glue it. There we go, and that's me done. I think I'm finished there now. So I'll lift it up for you so you can see it better. And and there we are. How quick and simple was that? And if you wanted, you could add ribbon to it. Um, if you wanted to make this, just take it that one step further. If you printed this out. On a piece of smaller piece of card then you could layer behind it mat and layer your this this image with say like the, the purple and the green behind it and then have it on a white card and that would make it look even you know just that little bit more um, advanced you know there's lots of things you can do and um, you can put the paint on we have the iridescent paint which uh, this one's frost white oops sorry where am i this is frost white and this is gorgeous i'll show you let me just show you what this is like and what you could do with it give it a good shake and then you just need a little paintbrush and let's see paint it in the leaves I think and seriously a small amount goes a long way and when that dries there you go you can see that little shimmer to it now so that just adds something else to it and you could do that for all the leaves then rather than colouring them in. You could colour them in if you wanted to using your pens or watercolour pencils or give it that extra little bit of something special and just paint this in the leaves instead. I keep thinking they should be called something else, not leaves. doesn't sound right for some reason in my head. I'm having a weird fibro day today. Foggy fibro day. And I'm off to a wedding today. Into a, oh, I've done that one. Dozy. And there we go. And I can see that sparkling already on the camera. So you've gone from sort of like quite a flat image to this beautiful little sparkle. You've got the sparkle from the um, sequins and you've got sparkle from this paint which is great this paint you can also paint on glass and wood and fabric 
and if you put it on fabric you just need to heat set it with an iron um, so you can you know glam up your t-shirts um, bags or whatever so anyway thank you so much for stopping by um, if you do want to order a catalogue from me I can I will send one out to you free of charge just email me uh, or go to my um, Facebook or my on my stamping up site and message me and let me know and I can get one out to you like I say new one starts on the 1st of Jan uh, 1st of January 1st of June <laughs> Um, and there we go and I shall be bringing you some more videos as we go and thank you very much for stopping by and I'll see you all again soon bye